Hello, this is Patrick. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, you know, I, I was watching a video just now about Q, and <clears throat> apparently they uh, there's a discussion going on. I don't know these people like Corsi. I don't watch Alex Jones, so I'm not familiar. But I, I did watch him when he first started on a car table in his garage, and he was just filled with fire. And, and vinegar, sort of like uh, he was a force. Could you could you give me uh, Alex Jones' truthfulness when he was started? When you see he when he started, he was very truthful. He was a very good source of information. Could you tell me that show uh, the last last few days regarding Q and his honesty in this regard? He's not being honest, and is it because of his? His, he sees Q as a business threat. Yes. That's all it is. And I think he boxed himself into a corner. And it's unfortunate. Q is legitimate. Uh, could you give me Q's... Uh, now, I did this a, a couple of days ago. I'll do it again. Because it's, it's an ongoing show. Q is patriotic. Could you show me how truthful uh, Q is? The truth of his information, the authenticity that there's are, I, I'm getting, it's a nine, very high, very, very high. So he's being very truthful for what they say they are. Uh, their accuracy is something else. Could you show me, um, let's, let's, uh, let's, how should I do this? We want to know, is Q, uh, could you just rate how high in the government has the president's ear would be a 10, okay? So give me, where is Q's rank or access in the government? Boom, he's got the president's ear, all right? How many, how many people are involved with Q in the primary? I'm still getting three. I'm still getting three. Is Q plus the president? Yes. I'm getting that probably is true. So even once in a while, Trump will say something through the Q board. I don't know why. Um, I think Alex Jones, if he uh, stopped attacking Q, and uh, could you show me Zach as an authenticity? See, He's not. He's just extremely low, not reliable, not an insider. It's all a lie. He's all a lie. This is, is this a marketing thing by Alex Jones, this Zach thing? Yes. It's just marketing. He feels threatened. That's all it is. It's just business. You know, Alex Jones has a lot of financial uh, things on the line right now. And Q is coming out of nowhere. But you can't have Alex Jones or anyone, including me, as the gatekeeper of truth. Q is this source. That's one source. There are other sources out there. But this is an important play-by-play uh, -play sort of thing that allows us to look behind the curtain, what's going on, many times predicting what's coming up, you know, who's going to resign, things like that. And... Uh, I don't mind saying that Q is totally authentic and in this spat with Alex Jones, Alex Jones is wrong. He should correct himself and, and salvage his uh, reputation as soon as possible. Because if he continues, if he continues to do this, let's just do it really quick. I have my charts, I got my pendulum, and uh, I'm just this crazy guy up in the Rockies talking to the animals and today okay here is Alex Jones now if he keeps this up show me his reputation credibility and show in six months he's gonna feel some damage I would say 25 percent all right 25 percent his authority if he turns and embraces Q and just does a, a 180 six months He's going to go up 50 to 60%. Okay, excuse me. 
I got ahead. Sometimes it could you show me six months from now, Alex Jones, if he can break? Yeah, he's up like 50%. So those are his two options. He has a third one and don't do anything. He, he could say, just drop the whole queue, not talk about it at all, and ignore it. Uh, but then he loses credibility. Continues to attack Q, loses more credibility. He'll lose 25% of his credibility. Probably standing with the audience. I'm not sure about money and things like that. I'm not going to go into that. If he turns around and embraces Q, makes it part of his show, you know, compared to a lot of, and get rid of Zach. <laughs> I don't know, Zach, he's, he's like a junior, at a junior college somewhere. The guy doesn't know anything. Just nothing. And, and you know, I think people just picked up on that. And uh, anyway, his show would be much stronger in six months. I'm getting 50%. He, he, he just got to turn around, just admit he made a mistake, turn around, embrace it, and defend him. The other thing about Q is there's some dicey, taboo subjects in there that Alex Jones historically does not talk about. And he avoids it, and he still avoids talking about them. Uh, Q is more accurate. They have a different perspective. And uh, I think, uh, let me just say, how much is the, okay, yeah, that is that. How much is, uh... so it's not so much the Pentagon, how much is the CIA involved with Q? No, very, very little. And it's not, so one agency, one intelligence agency, is somewhat involved but there's a lot more there's another two-thirds available that I don't know and a lot of these people know where to get intelligence and uh, the NSA is just one of them all right there's other the CIA looks like it's playing a minimal I, th I would think the CIA is like a target <laughs> you know they're not uh... anyway thank you bye bye and uh, that's my hit. I, I still get really positive stuff about Q. They'll be wrong. Maybe they'll be attacked, you know, the board. And, you know, that could happen. But they have smart people there, too. Okay, bye-bye.